real or fake? Welcome to science. I was really quite excited. I just won like a whole handful of phenakite. Phenakai is real expensive. I just won over 500 carats of Phenakai for £30. But now these crystals have arrived, quite a few of them have got... It's supposed to be Phenakai, right? Quite a few of them are pointy, terminated crystals. Um, like... They've got quite a regular formation to them in terminations. Now I've read about this. Phenakite means deceiver, right? Because it, it looks like clear quartz. <laughs> it's clear quartz. Is So, like, how can I just be sure? Because I'd like this to be phenakite, okay? I would, but... So, how do I tell is... So if I hold the crystal by its point, on the side, if there are lines on it, striations, those should be, on phenakite, they should be vertical if you hold it by the point. These are horizontal, which indicates a clear quartz crystal. Right, I have got some phenakite, a little tiny one, and that's got some sort of horizontal line, so I'm like still not quite sure. So we're going to do science, because phenakite, not phenakite, should be heavier than quartz. I've got some quartz here, so I mean, you know, the test, the other tests that I've seen on the internet use like proper digital scales to two decimal places, but I'm like. The specific gravity is 2.5 for quartz and for th is 3 for phenakite. So I'm like, there's quite a big difference there. You know, like 15, 20%, something like that. So you should be able to see it even at one decimal place if you're weighing quite a lot. So I've got quite a big quartz. So we'll just do like quite a simple little test. So I've got a little graduated cup. It's just something that I have. So what I'm going to do is quite simple. Let's put that on the scales. I've zeroed that. And I'm going to put the quartz in the pot. And the quartz weighs 77 grams. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is fill the cup to 100 milliliters, so it's, it's above the level of the quartz. That's right on the line, right on the line. And that is 153 grams. Okay, so 153, that's what we need to remember, 153. So I'll fish it out, the crystal, and leave all the water in the cup. Right, and then I'll fill back up to 100 milliliters, so the same volume the same volume of crystal is going to go back into the cup, but this time it's going to be a different crystal. So it was 153, okay? And it should be heavier. Like, it should be 170 maybe, or something like that. If this phenakite is phenakite. If it is quartz, it will be about 150, 153, something like that, okay? Just makes sense, right? Because it's the same volume of crystal. If it is heavier, it will weigh more. So I'll just put this in here then. If they were all big bits, I couldn't do it like quite like this, but 
is a little bit so I can make it quite accurately back up to the 100 milliliter line. Little ones, nearly there. There. I've. Oh. <laughs> that's even less than I thought it was last time. There, that's definitely. That's definitely. That's definitely. A hundred millilitres in there now. Okay? I mean, it's quite a nice crystal. It's got like rainbows in it. But that is 133 grams, so that is less dense than quartz. It's not phenakite. It's not. Okay. So this is the same volume of crystal I've got in here. So if I pull the water out, water the garden. and dry it so this is the same volume of crystal how much does this weigh so we'll set the scales to the quartz which is 878 grams measure that before So zero to scales with the quartz on it. And then we've got this dry phenakite that is the same volume. And we'll put it back on the scale. It's pretty crystal. I'm not saying it's not. Okay, that's 11 grams less for the same volume of crystal. The specific gravity of this crystal is less than quartz. If it was phenakite, it would be more than quartz. It's not phenakite, it is fake. It is going back to the math. <laughs> there you are, science, well done, thank you.